Hey folks, thanks for checking in with us here at MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm meteorologist Tyler Elias and hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, it has been busy in the tropics for the last couple of days. We had a brief subtropical storm, Teresa, that is now long gone. So we're just rolling through the names here. Just a couple left on the 2021 list, Victor and Wanda. So if we get past those, remember no Greek alphabet this year. We get a new list of names and go back to the letter A. Let's hope we don't quite get there, but there's time left in the hurricane season to certainly do that. Uh, here's Hurricane Sam, a Cat 4 storm now, winds of 140 miles per hour. This is a beast of a hurricane, uh, pressure down to 943. Uh, it's going to continue to just move west-northwest. The good news is that over the next few days, uh, it will avoid the northeastern Caribbean islands. It'll kick up the surf, but that's about it as it starts to make that turn to the north and eventually northeast. Later next week could be a problem for the island of Bermuda. We'll be on the lookout uh, for that, but for the next several days, no issue to any land areas. Got a weak wave in the central of the Atlantic. Uh, not much going on with that. 10% chance over the next two days in terms of development. Later next week, there'll be a couple new waves that come off the coast of Africa. 60% chance of development there over the next five days. Long ways out, long time to watch that. So it's really just Sam uh, on the map for now. As we shift gears from September to October, the hot spots in the tropics kind of changes dramatically in terms of where we're expecting storms to form. This is uh, historical hurricane tracks. This is the month of September going back about 150 years. Watch what happens here. This is the month of October. Totally different, right? As opposed to those mid-Atlantic storms moving across the Caribbean, it's really homegrown activity as fronts begin to move further south through the Gulf. You can get very quickly forming storms in the Western Caribbean and the Southern Gulf of Mexico. And some of those have a history of being uh, major, major hurricanes, especially for the state of Florida. So we'll be watching that closely as we head into the month of October. Some long-term signs right now and some of the models that maybe something tries to spin up in at 10 to 14 days, but nothing significant at the moment. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll talk again soon.